Hi everybody, this is Mario Hernandez and today we're going to talk about how to style your website using the CSS injector module and specifically we're going to focus today on how to style a navigation, the main navigation of the website. I'm uh, recording this video because of a, um, a request that was made to me by somebody who was having a hard time styling a website and the problem is uh, the person didn't have access to uh, the website locally which means that uh, he needed to work on the website uh, straight from the server not locally so he has access to FTP and he's able to upload uh, modules and uh, files to the web server but he's not able to uh, download the website uh, because of restrictions on the local computer so what we need to do is find a way to be able to style the website without having to work on that website locally and to do that we're going to use the module uh, CSS injector which will allow us to uh, apply our CSS styles to the website right on the browser and once we're happy with the result we can copy those styles and you know put them on a separate CSS file that we can then upload to our web server and um, make those styles permanent. So again, uh, we're gonna use the CSS injector module and I already downloaded it and uh, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna go to the downloads, I'm sorry, the module section on my website. I'm going to collapse the core module and there is CSS injector. I'm going to check the box to enable it, save configuration. So now I have the CSS injector module enabled and if I go to the configuration, uh, tab and scroll down under development I'll see the CSS injector module so I'll click that and what this allows me to do I already play around with this a little bit so let me delete this rule real quick here so you can see exactly what you see now when you first come to the module um, you you won't see really much anything here you will need to create a rule to begin the style process and the rules are um, you can create rules for any uh, elements on your website. For example, you can create a rule for your navigation. You can create a rule to style your footer or to style your uh, main content section. Any type of elements that you want to style, you can create rules for that. And these are CSS rules, by the way. So, um, or you can simply create a global rule where you can uh, add all of your CSS for the entire website. So, today we're going to create just a quick uh, rule and we're going to call this uh, navigation because we are going to be focusing on how to style the navigation. I'll come back to the CSS code box in a bit because that's where we're going to enter all of our CSS style uh, so our website navigation is uh, styled uh, differently than the way it is now. Uh, we want the styles or navigation to be styled this way on all the pages except any pages that are part of the admin section. So by adding admin asterisk, I'm saying any page that starts with the word admin up here, see where it says admin right here. So anything that follows admin uh, will not inherit these styles. Uh, we're going to do for all media, or you can choose just for the screen or print. In this case, we're going to do all and pre process the CSS. That means it will. Uh, pre-process the CSS and make it available for uh, the website to use it right away. So uh, let me see if it lets me save this. It may not because it needs some CSS style here. So I'm going to start with first doing some test here. I'm going to say uh, background color and say yellow just to show a demo of what uh, whether this is working properly or not. So I'm going to scroll now and save continue editing because I'm coming back here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open another tab so I can leave the edit box open and I don't have to keep going back to it and as you can see here uh, the style that I just applied uh, is working because I now see my background on the website yellow so let me uh, let's keep this the way it is uh, with the yellow background just to uh, make it annoying for you <laughs> I'm just kidding just going to get rid of this and um, we're going to leave the background alone so we're not going to do anything but what I do need to do is I need to style the navigation and to do that I'm going to use a tool called Firebug. Firebug is a nice plugin that you can add to your browsers 
that allows you to inspect the code behind your website, what, what's happening behind the scenes. So if you right click after installing the Firebug, uh, let me uh, quickly show you. Here's the Firebug plugin. All you do is go to the uh, Tools section on your browser and look for the uh, under Add ons or Plugins, add the Firebug plugin. Or you can go, I believe, is um, getfirebug.com, I believe it is. Uh, yes, you can also do it that way. Just click the button, you will see it. Based on which browser you have, it'll, it'll, it'll show up there. So that's how you can get it. And then you have a nice little icon here that you can click on and you can see this. Or if you want to specifically focus on one element here, you can right click on the element and click on inspect the element with Firebug and it takes you there. What I want to show you here is how the navigation is put together. The best practices for creating navigations is to put them on an, an order list, an order list, UL, and every uh, link element is a uh, list item. And within the list item, you see the anchor type which for the link. And as, as I hover over these list items, you'll see up in the top right here that the things are get highlighted based on where I'm hovering over. That tells me that I'm looking at a specific item there. So this is good because I want to see exactly what's happening. So I can see that the UL, uh, the main navigation, has a class of links. So I can use this class. Okay, I'm going to copy that and I go back to the CSS injector and let me see if I close this. I wonder if it's going to close it on the other tab. We'll find out. And I'm going to close, uh, start with the class of links. All classes in CSS are targeted by using the dot, and IDs are targeted by using the hashtag. So I'm going to say a background color for the navigation, uh, red. And this is just to um, show you how you can style the site. So I'm using colors that are not, uh, I wouldn't necessarily use my design but I want to show you exactly what's happening so I save that and if I refresh the yellow should go away and it looks like there are other things that have the classes of links and that's why you see this red highlighted here so I need to be a little more specific about as far as um, where I want to apply my background because otherwise other elements who have the same classes will inherit the same um, uh, styles so I can see that the navigation is actually put together on this div right here called with the ID of navigation. So I can actually do that instead. I'm going to copy that, go to my style, and instead of links, remember it was an, uh, an ID, so I need to use a hashtag and then navigation. And the same rule, which is background color red. I'm going to save this. If I come here and refresh, now you can see that the navigation has a red background and all the other styles went away because I'm now being more specific about which element on my page I want to have this background for. So uh, we're moving along. So let me, uh, since we have a red background, what I can do is I can say anything that is inside the navigation div and is a is inside an UL, an, an order list, uh, li, and an anchor, I want the color to be white. Basically, I want the link, uh, the color of my links to be white instead. And I'm going down the hierarchy here uh, in, a way, in a cascading style way so I can be more specific about which items I need to affect because I don't want anything else. Uh, let's say we add more links to the navigation that are not necessarily links or, or part of the navigation. I don't want those to inherit this rule, so I want to be more specific about which items. So I can do the following here. And uh, I'm going to edit the rule again. I close the parentheses. So I'm going to again start with navigation. And inside the navigation, we have an IUL or an order list. Inside each UL, we have an LI. And inside our LI, we have an anchor. And then we open and close our curly brackets. Technically, I can say navigation and an anchor. Anything, any anchor that is inside the navigation will inherit whatever rules I want to apply, for example, the color to be uh, white. And if I save this, this will actually work. See how you can see my links are now white. But again, I want to be a little more uh, specific with this. 
So I'm going to add UL, LI, which is the, the structure on which the, the, the links are placed. Save this. And if I go back to my page, if I refresh, I shouldn't see any change because it's the same rule. It's just that I'm being a little more specific. So I'm going to add a little padding on each tab here because they're too close together. So I can do for the links, I can say padding on the top and the bottom. I don't want any padding. Actually, I do. Let me do six pixels on the top and the bottom and 20 pixels on the left and the right. That's how you specify a shorthand way of addressing top, uh, right, bottom, and left uh, rules there for the, for the links. I'm going to go to my page and refresh. Now you can see that items are a little more separated from each other. That gives a little more room to breathe. Uh, one thing that I notice is that the items are very close to the top. So we probably need to bring that uh, a little bit to the bottom. Margin, top. Uh, let's do TS 10 pixels. I'm sorry, the Spanish came out there. <laughs> 10 pixels. I'm going to save and edit and continue here. And I'm going to refresh. Uh, it didn't take effect, and the reason I believe is because these are not block elements, and thus uh, outside the, the scope of this um, presentation. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, I probably need to do this um, under the the um, the UL instead of the specific anchors. So let me. Uh, get rid of this here and instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to say navigation UL I'm going to give some margin to the UL uh, so the entire all the entire uh, list of ULs I'm sorry or links will uh, will be pushed down a little bit to give a little more room I'm still not doing it um, let me see let me play around with this on Firebox this is a nice thing about Firebox too is that you can actually you can bring this here, for example, I have my main menu, and I don't see any rules for my main menu, so I can add a new rule, and I can say margin, top, 10 pixels, there it is. So uh, this is the nice thing about uh, Firebug is that you can play around with your styles before you commit them to your style sheet. So now I can actually copy this and bring it into my CSS style sheet and apply my do this here. Just some somewhat simple lines. Like I said, if we're going to be adding a lot of styles to this box, it's nice if we can line and map things this way so it gives a little more space to play with. If I refresh this, of course, the, the style there. So you can see how things are moving along. Just to get a little crazy here, I'm going to say, um, I don't know if these are block elements already or not, but let me see. Margin or background. Um, black. Let's see if this applies or not. What I'm saying is, I want to add a background to each each link. Now you can see there there it is. So I just apply the background black to each of the links because the last item here is the link. So um, and that's how I can apply a background. So, anyways, this is just a quick uh, way of showing you how you can style your navigation or any other item for that matter on your website using the CSS injector module. I hope this was helpful. It's not intended to show you how to style the entire website. I just wanted to show you how to use the CSS injector file, I'm sorry, module, uh, how to use Firebox to quickly inspect your code. And this is, uh, in the, again, this was a request that came to me from somebody who had no access to a local computer to work locally. All the work needed to be done on the server. So the CSS injector makes this really easy. So I hope this was helpful and uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.